Hi there, I'm Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to demonstrate the JD Green Tone Correction Actions. A few weeks ago, someone asked me to make an action that helps to control green tones, which can become neon or chartreuse, often when edited, and sometimes even straight out of camera. So these actions are simply time savers that focus only on the greens and yellows that can quickly make a summer and spring photo look garish. Now I'm just going to use the Audition All to allow you to preview how these actions target only the greens and yellows while leaving the other tones largely untouched. So I've got this Audition All selected. I'm going to hit the play button. And here we have a variety of different ways that you can tone down these yellows and greens. This is the first, Desaturate Greens, Desaturate Yellows, Removing Green from the Blacks, Soft blue desaturated greens, soft blue greens, and just soften greens overall. Now, in all of these, I'm trying hard to leave skin tones as unaffected as possible. In soft blue greens, you can see her face gets a little bit pinker. Now, I kind of like that. Sometimes it helps to sort of offset any uh, color cast. However, if you don't like it, there's some additional bonus actions here that will help you to balance and offset any of that. So this is called Balance Red Gain, and I'm just simply adding that here. Let's say that you wanted to see this image become a little more saturated, but you don't want those yellows and greens to gain again. We're going to resaturate blues and reds. So you can see this brought these tones back up, but it's not giving it that same sort of garish look. It's a softer, blue or green look. And if you don't like it on the face, all you have to do is go and paint into this mask with a soft black brush. And we're just going to take a little bit of that saturation out of her skin tones. All right. Now, all the actions that I've previewed for you so far are universal in that they affect the entire image. But as I said, they are targeted, so they're really only working on the greens and the yellows. However, if you wanted to do an edit where you just want a very small, specific area to be touched, you would go and use one of these paints. These paints are the exact same tones that you see here, but they are only going to be seen when you paint into them. So I'm going to demonstrate. We'll do the desaturate yellows in the paint version and you can see it comes up with a black mask. We're going to go ahead and select a soft white brush and just so you see what I'm doing, I'm going to crank that opacity up to 100 and I'm going to just paint into some of these areas. So you can see it's just selectively going into just a couple areas that I'm choosing. So I'm just going to show you really quick, just with our, our actions, this is the before after. And you could do anything you want with it. You could select different ones or run them together in combinations, blend them. The choice is yours, but hopefully you like this if you have had problems loving your greens before. This allows you a little more control very quickly and easily. Thanks so much for watching.